perhaps sometimes you need to change the countdown clock or another feature or property of the slide. So let's start with um, the countdown clock. You simply want to overwrite the time that is currently given by the new number that you would like the countdown to start at. Always consider countdown clock as an additional time that you allow the audience to vote, not the entire time that the audience can vote. In other words, polling is actually open when the slide is shown to the audience um, and therefore they can vote anytime. Only when you decide to start the clock by simply navigating forward in PowerPoint presentation mode, let's say it's a mouse click or a space bar, then the countdown clock will be started and when it reaches zero you don't have to do anything it will close polling automatically. At that point results may be shown depending on your settings. By default the results are always shown after the clock reaches zero or if the clock does not exist on the slide your click or your press of a spacebar or enter on a keyboard will close the polling manually.